Ah, what is possibly going on in the world today, I wonder? For sure. Jamie, put it up there. Here we go. Four, um, three, two. Yeah. That's it right there. Congratulations. <laughs> Planets are aligned. It's true. Pickaxes at the ready, chaps, because we are off to the salt mines once again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've had a restless night, <laughs> you're probably not the only ones because Alex, the most censored man in the English language Jones, is imminently returning to Twitter. Well, maybe he already has by the time this video goes out, who knows? And the outrage can be summed up through this meme right now. Uh -huh, it still makes me chuckle. First, it was the Donny T, now Alex Jones, one of the internet's most maddest of mad lads, Infowars head honcho. Man famous and probably infamous if you're anywhere near the mainstream media, let's be honest, known for saying some... Pretty outlandish things, an overwhelming amount of which ends up being true, hence why we have things like this, the Alex Jones was right money jar meme. The man in the machine desperately tried to bury, and I think it was 2018, wasn't it? When they yeeted him off all of mainline tech and sued because of his opinion on a uh, <clears throat> certain event, shall we say, for an unholy amount of moolah. And yet the man is still kicking, still working, still breathing, and is about to have new life breathed into him thanks to a certain wealthy South African madman. And naturally, I salute the madman, and not just because he's my country folk. And by the way, how many of you had Alex Jones returning to Twitter on your 2023 bingo cards? It wasn't on mine, I'll tell you that much. A lot of the heavy lifting, though, was done by Tucker Carson, who sat down with Alex Jones for a, a nice chat a few days ago, which uh, seems to have jolted the InfoWars host back into the mainstream conversation. And considering it seems that uh, Tucker and Musk have a good business relationship, it seemed to have given Alex a, uh, a fair shake, and so a poll was conducted. Should Alex Jones be reinstated? And Elon himself said he vehemently disagrees with Alex Jones. However, the people have spoken. So just shy of 2 million people voting, and a third of the poll being whiny cry babies who are in danger of flooding their dwellings with a river of delicious tears, which obviously is fantastic, I thoroughly approve. Now myself, obviously, what is my feeling on the matter? Hell, my feelings can be summed up pretty much through this scene. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Is that not why you were here? Yes, that's pretty much my statement to the 30% uh, and all the rest of the bedwetting sycophants in the mainstream media who are naturally going to freak out over this and are reaching their recycling bin of uh, has-been labels and attempt to smear Alex Jones and Twitter all over again. Did it work last time, you plebs, and it sure as hell is not going to work now. I myself love it. Anything that makes people I dislike more miserable and angry for reasons they can't even articulate beyond sloganeering will always fill me with giddy glee. And to those 30% ban happy wankers, we have a different monarch now, so haha, -ha, leave if you don't like it. And you won't, by the way. You all secretly love Elon Musk because without something to bitch about, you lot would become even more insane and miserable than you already are. Without drama, your lives would be meaningless and boring. And we all know this, by the way. The arch enemy of leftism is reality, after all, which is why they all suck so much. The one thing I do find amusing about the whole banning scenario, there's essentially three players involved. There's the voice, the audience, and the ban hammer. All that happens if you hit the voice is you end up animating the audience, who, okay, is lacking the order capacity of the general, sure, but you can always animate something else. Coordination is lacking, yes, but the potential is always there. This is why silencing single voices is so important to the regime. Anything that can act as a focal point that can channel the energy of the audience is very, very dangerous. The single biggest danger to the regime is loyalty, especially of an opposition figure. Notice how the left works with any dissent in their ranks. Oh, that's right, there isn't any. They just discard anything that so much as blinks. Problem is, if you push further and further, you look more insane and all you're left with is an increasingly smaller group of spaced out zombies with no capacity to think. The closer you move to the final destination, the more people you are going to lose getting there. Leftism is like trying to reach a mythical destination, a place whose location exists on a map that's fictitious, on a boat that's constantly losing people, and every person lost ends up shooting a hole in the boat before they jump ship. So crack open a beer, break out the whiskey, and let's watch the boat sink, eh? Cheers for watching, and once again, I apologize for nothing. Fuck off, Piers.